We are out thrifting today. It's Friday. It's early. I'm not a morning person. I know I've mentioned that on previous videos, but I really, I don't do well in the morning. Adulting starts way too early. I'm going to work on that. Just really looking forward to the fact that we have about two weeks left and summer vacation starts. Score. I'm all about the summer vacation. But in the process, we are going to go out thrifting. Uh, the prices lately just seem to be a little ridiculous. So wish us luck that we find anything worth grabbing. Let's go. Ooh, what did we find? It's going to remain a mystery. At least for the moment. Can you guess it? There's actually two things in there that I bought. And then five CDs? Five CDs. That Rich bought? And keeper. then, yeah. That's a keeper. He's Chance. really excited about that one. Oh, yes. Big time. <laughs> I don't know why. It's limited edition. It's hard to find. It's perfect condition. Awesome. Dave Brubeck Quartet. We must both be in a weird mood. He's the, playing a sausage. Yeah, the worst of PDQ Buck. Like worst is in bratwurst. Bratwurst. Because he's playing a sausage. That's what it is. Oh, the sausage! And <laughs> then check out what I found. Oh my god. <laughs> and then if this does not sell, I am wearing this. It's got freaking lobsters on it. Beautiful condition. No stains, no tears, no rips. White and pristine. Okay, now this brand, if Rich would hold still and aim it at the camera, Denim and Flowers. All right, so the plain shirts, not going for much. Seven, eight, nine bucks tops. The weird, bizarre, like white, lo white on, lo lobsters Lobster on, on white. white. That's what I was trying to say. Those are going anywhere between 20 and 25. So weird sells, I guess. We'll see how it does. We're gonna go to the next. So if you're thinking you're having a bad day, at least you didn't drive your Corvette through a pole. That sucks. Yeah, that's not good. That guy's having a real bad day. We found a garage sale and I'm, it is, it, okay, this guy does uh, like trash removal. You'll see it. Huge sales. Huge sales. His prices usually aren't so bad, but they do get cheaper as the week progresses. If you've seen Rich's giant stereo console, uh, we got it from the these people's uh, the wife's, it was the wife's dad's, and they built it in their basement. It was real fun to try to get out. But we're gonna go peep this and see if we can find any goodies. We killed it at the garage sale. Can't really see, so it's still kind of a mystery, but I will show you when we get home. We are leaving our final thrifting destination. We did not buy anything to resell, but I did buy something for myself. We're gonna make a stop at USPS and then we'll be home and I'll show you what we got. Who is ready for the haul portion? <coughs> Bought the bookcase at the yard sale for 10 doll hairs. It's got some like awesome old paint look to it. Bought it for 10, I'm gonna list it for 40. Pretty big bookcase. I doubt I'll have it that long. <laughs> Don't overlook stuff like this. I spent a quarter on it. There's not a ton in there, but my dog stinks, so for a quarter, I will de-stink the couch. Bought that at the yard sale too. 1500 piece vintage Milton Bradley. Best part, still sealed. Never been opened. Factory sealed. It does have some wear to the edges, but that's to be expected. And it's pretty. Oh, I spent a dollar on that. <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> Budweiser can AM FM radio. 
New sealed. Bought it for five. Not entirely sure price point on that one. They're kind of all over the place for sealed ones. So anywhere between 15 and like 30 I think is reasonable. And I might need your guys' help on this one. Are you ready? Check these guys out. I was forced to watch a lot of wrestling when I was younger. Both of my male cousins were really, really into wrestling and wrestlers. But... It's been a long time since I've had to remember any of their names other than Hulk Hogan. So if you guys know, please leave it in the comments below. It will save me a lot of Googling. Just be like, hey, the guy with the camo pants is blah, blah, blah. So if you guys know any of these guys, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. It would be extremely helpful. But I paid five for all of them. And then that guy up there. The latter. I also bought from the yard sale for five bucks. It's really sturdy. It's got the vintage X. Wooden metal handle. And it's not like ladder size. And it's not quite step stool size. It's like an odd in-between size, which is cool. Panasonic auto stop uh, doodad for pencil. Pencil sharpener. That is what I was trying to accomplish with that. Spent two bucks on it. Again, they're kind of all over the place with prices, but I'm hoping 15 on that. It was tested. It worked fine. This is probably my favorite find of today. It's got freaking lobsters on it. How do you beat a shirt with freaking lobsters on it? It is a men's button down. Really good condition. I couldn't find any flaws, although I haven't super looked at it in good light. That is the brand. And I did look up denim and flower uh, shirt designs. The plain ones aren't worth your time. Honestly, they're just not. The crazy pattern ones, uh, I seen one that had mopeds on it. They went for 25 bucks. I am assuming lobsters are in the same shirt category as mopeds for this brand. So I'm going to put it up for $24.99, see what it does. <laughs> I might do best offer, I might not. I spent $1.25 on that, and it's a good size. It's a XL. And then Rich... Bought that entire stack of records. Most of them at the yard sale. So I haven't even looked. I don't even know. I don't there's, even know what she bought. There's 18 records there. Um, <clears throat> a little bit more than half are five. Then there's $7 records. And then there's $10 records. So there's definitely a decent profit over time. All good stuff. Like Mountain, Mississippi, Queen. Everybody knows Billy Joel, Donovan, ELO, The Band, The Babes. Is that an actual, like, band, like, the band name is The Band? The Band. Yep, they are The Band. Okay. Chicago. More Chicago. Bob Seger. More Billy Joel. More Bob Seeger. And some more Bob Seeger. There you go. Beach Boys. Yep, double album, Spirit of America. Prodigal Harlem. Ringo Starr from the Beatles. And some more Chicago. Yeah, I know some of those. I know Chicago, at least. Oh, and then check this out. We just sold this. It's getting boxed up. It's got to go sh shipped out FedEx because it's heavier than Christ Almighty. $83 to ship that thing to Oregon. Oh, my gosh. Well, if I could it is a Edison's 
Rotary phonograph? No. Mimeograph. No. Mimeograph. That's what I meant to say. I don't know how I didn't get that right. <laughs> that thing's been on eBay for almost two years and just sold. show my keepers until I can open it. This is the other stuff he bought. These are his keepers. He's really excited about this one. That's the one that we showed you that we bought with the uh, whole lobster shirt. It's got freaking lobsters on it. It's got freaking lobsters on it. So cool. And then, that's the thing I bought at uh, Sale Arm at the end of the day. I'm keeping this, at least until I watch it a couple times. I don't care who you are, Dean Cook is hilarious. Mm, don't know. Don't know. Not gonna know. Probably not gonna know. Probably not going to not know. No idea, and no idea. But <laughs> you will know. Oh, there's the weird thing. Mimeograph, it's what they used to make copies before they had copy machines. So when they did a newspaper, local newspaper, bam, it would roll it, throw another sheet in there, bam, and it would ink pages. We really thought that that would go a lot faster than it did. I'm not kidding. It's been on eBay for almost two years. I think we finally sold it for like forty eight ninety nine. Yeah. Ridiculous price it's being like shipped a, to Oregon. It's basically like a little mini printing press for doing quick small documents, newsletters, and stuff like that. It's from the early 1900s. So yeah, that is our haul for today. Not too bad. Thanks for uh, riding along with us. Seeing what cool things we brought home. Do it again soon. Bye.